spring is here, so we're gonna paint the tulip. For our member of EnjoyingArt.com, I'm looking forward to seeing you in our fun and relaxing Friday painting together. If this is your first time to our channel, it's all about making art easy with relaxation. Push like, share, subscribe, and turn on notification. First, let me tell you the brushes that I'm using. I only use two brushes. One is a fry brush, it's gold hair. Okay. Take care of the brush, just use the two fingers, right? Just softly massage it every time before you start using it. Okay. Now, the hair very soft, also remove all the bubble, all the air inside the brush here. Now the brush is ready to use. That's very sharp over here, very organized. And this is the calligraphy brush. The calligraphy brush can use for medium and small shapes. And the tip is very sharp, so it's very easy to control. We already did the drawing study. I'm going to use a very light watercolor to do the compositions. It's very easy. Any gray color, it would do fine. I'm looking at my drawing in front of me. So I'm going to think about that. This is going to be um, the bottom of that vase. Okay. Now at the top over here. Now I'm making sure I have enough for the flower, right? So this is going to be top of the flower. So I'm going to move it a little bit lower. Now the top of the vase, that would be like a halfway, right? From the top to the bottom. And this is very easy. After you decide it, that is become pretty good. Now I'm gonna have a little bit more like a brown color, right? I'm gonna put it away right here. Okay, that's good. A little bit on the right side, the right side, left side, you go, like that. The paper I'm using is Paul Rubin. And if you want to, if you never use it, um, it's a pretty good paper. Uh, take a look at that. And this is not a really huge paper. I'm also going to leave the little pad over here. And drawing with the watercolors would be very fun. Okay, I'm going to make the pad a little bit bigger than originally. Uh, that I'm going to put that, the frow over here, like that, the frow over here, the frow over there. And I also look at my drawing for uh, ideas. And actually, I want to put a flower pad on this side a little bit longer, like that. Put it over there. So give a little bit variety like this. Okay, a little flower over here and okay, and this is will become one group, right? This one group over here. And I'm gonna make this flower a little bit bigger, like that. That's okay. And this one a little bit lower. Here you go, like that. Just Put a little color over there. This is good. And I give a little gap in the middle. It could be okay. If you want, you can invent another one. Or how about this one, maybe this one, move it a little bit more to the center. Okay. You still can, you know, being creative. You don't have to, oh yeah, I already spent an hour on the drawing. And then I'm not going to change it. No. It's a... Uh, the end of your painting, that will be the end of the creation. So you can do whatever you please to do, right? Okay, now I have some uh, space, I already have that, but right now it's just put something over there, you don't have to worry too much about it, okay? You can break it and you can rebuild it. Okay, now I'm gonna put a little color over here too, and just, um, just try it to see how it look. And the middle over here, got the color coming down like this, okay? And, and have a little bit red color over here too, like that. Okay, just think about how the balance look. Okay, now I'm gonna come to the real painting. Well, you probably think about it. it's not a real painting. Um, because we just try to confirm the composition. And now we're going to cover the big area, 
It's very important always thinking about the big area. Think about what color is it. It will be light gray color, right? I'm gonna take a little bit blue color, mix it with this color, brown color that I already have, and maybe have a little bit more blue color and use also integrate a little bit of the um, uh, red shade uh, blue color. So now I'm gonna see. In the background, uh, originally we thought we're gonna have this side to be, right? I'm gonna paint it around, don't want to get into the light shade of the flower, unless you don't want it, then you can remove it, right? Coming down over here like that. So look, take a look and coming down over here, and let's leave a little bit light shade, that's just fine, like that. Now under over here, this is fine, and don't worry about the leaf, the leaf is darker, right? So I'm gonna just painting over, over here and try to pray the idea again for the uh, composition. Okay, that is one big shape. And now take a look at here, the window, the bottom of the window frame. I'm gonna take a look at that. I'm gonna ping around the outside over here so I can leave a little light shape for that. Okay, take a look at the shape. Always think about shape. Shape has uh, these attributes. Has color, has how dark, it, the value of the color, and the size of that. And I'm gonna also go into and the uh, angle. This sh okay, now this is good. I have a little bit over there, right? And don't worry about this corner. This corner right now looks trouble, right? But however, after you put the leaves, that will be breaking, right? So this is no worry. Now I'm gonna take a look on this side, right? Take a look at the bottom over here. Here you go. Now I'm gonna continue making the bottom a little bit more interesting by have a little bit brown, a little bit more yellow. Just relax. It's just fun. Okay. And some member have not actually joining our Friday painting together. So I'm saying that every single time in my video, first come to join us. You already remember, why not? Make it either the morning or the evening section. We're gonna have fun. Okay, now I'm gonna put a little color like that. That's just good, right? Now I'm gonna put a little color, how about in the outside the window? I'm gonna clean my brush because that color need to be a little bit fresh. Just like outside right now, it's a very beautiful spring. So this color need to be a little bit lighter, okay? Don't make it too dark compete with the flower. And I'm gonna make it just like, it. put it there and a little bit like that and make it a little bit softer. Just use the side of this brush and that's good. That's good. And then keep enough light area. Okay, a little bit like that. Now I'm gonna get a little blue color. Here you go. Now I'm gonna put it over here with the yellow color. Now have a very soft suggestions of something going on and maybe tap a little bit over here like that. That's good. Now I'm gonna do a little adjusting. I want this a little bit more dynamic softness. So this is okay. This is a little bit too, too clear. So it just use this brush. This brush is very easy to lift it up, but you need to spend some time to train this brush a little bit because otherwise they may not listening to you, okay? Be patient. If you watch a movie, you keep um, massage the brush uh, with a water bowl and it, an hour later, it should be fine. Okay, trust yourself. Now look a little bit better. Now I have a little bit harder edge, now a little bit softer edge, right? And now over here, I'm gonna remove some of the texture over here. There's a little bit too much. And I use the whole size of the brush, okay? So if you use the corner only affecting this area, I want it to affect the whole area as much as I can. You see, you don't have to spend too much effort. You see that just, that's good enough. I, it's okay to keep some texture, but I just don't want it to too much, right? Just let go a little bit. So this is good. This is all we need to do. And now I'm gonna come in to give it, uh, oh, over here on the side over here, I'm also gonna lift up a little color over here. Just use 
uh, the side of the brush like that. You see that? How easy to lift up the color. Now you give a little bit suggestion uh, of, for the details of the window. You see that? It's already there. Okay, just think about watercolor is easy and modifiable. Okay, not really hard. Okay, like that. I'm gonna make that a little bit softer. That's okay. Now I come back and use a little bit of this light brown color. So you don't need a lot of color. Uh, take a look. I'm just going to overlay a little bit color like that. You see that very little subtle suggestions. You don't need a lot of changes because it belongs to the background. And now you see a little bit more soft suggestions into the, the window frame. Okay, very good, right? You have to really know what you want before you can um, make the decision how to get it. Okay, now I'm gonna make a little brown color. Okay, the brown color with a little blue then. Okay, get a little bit of this color. I'm gonna set a little bit the bottom of the frame. Yeah, you can just keep it a little bit, a little bit soft. That's fine. You don't have to make it persistent. Now this is good. Over here. Now come to the other side, and here you go. Now I'm coming over here, like that. Okay. So you don't have to draw a straight line. That will be fine. Now the next thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start. Add a little bit blue color and green color. I'm gonna take the blue and the yellow and have a lot more blue, right? I'm gonna just test it and look at my drawing at the same time as I'm looking at my uh, reference. That's good. Have something blur over. That's fine. I just put a little color over there. Just think about abstractively. That's what color is gonna all work together. It's gonna look really great. And I'm gonna make this a little bit darker color. So I'm gonna, when the dark color, I need to mix with a little red to it. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna thinking about that a little bit like this. Okay, think about what the other, uh, I'm gonna put the leaf over here. And like this, I'm gonna break that shape a little bit. That's okay. Okay, I'm gonna make some adjusting uh, to the uh, leaf. Okay, I'm gonna have a little leaf over here. This is still wet. I'm gonna keep the shape, so I'm gonna avoid touching it. So now I'm gonna paint around. I'm gonna think about, oh, I'm gonna paint the vase, spend some time into it. Okay, if something came up, came out the way that you don't want it, and don't immediately change it. You keep it there for a few seconds at least, and enjoy it. You see, oh, it maybe became better than what you expected, right? Okay, now I'm gonna put this color right there, and I'm gonna have this color coming down a little bit, and look at this brush, it's very long, uh, lots, lots of hair. This is gonna be very soft coming out, so it come back to that a little bit later. So put a little color over here, like that, that's good, like that. Just think about color, 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 and value, 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 okay. On the other side, I will take care of that a little bit later. Okay, now come to the bottom over here. I'm gonna set a little bit detail over here, that's good, All right? Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm also going to put a really, really deep color for some flower, okay? First over here, I'm gonna put, just think about the shape of the color, don't need to worry about is that look like a flower, look like a tulips. You don't have to think about the flower by name or just think about the shape of the color. Okay, like that. And maybe just three flower, that's fine on this. So I'm gonna come in with this color first. I'm gonna have some, just put the color in and a little shape like that, seeing light shape, dark shape. Okay, like this. Oh, why is, why is that noise? Okay, now I'm gonna use just the water, soften it, and say let it softly coming down. And now I'm gonna have some much darker color. Get the blue, 
right? And get the red color. Here you go. There's two color together already. Just mix that two color. I know how it's gonna look like. Very dark. And put a little bit very deep color over there and make a little bit of very deep color in between. Now you create a weight, right? Now I'm gonna on this side, I'm gonna put this color over there too. And also a little bit color over there. Here you go. A little bit color over there. Now I'm gonna start at the red color and wet into wet. Here you go. Like that. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that's very good. Okay. You can leave a little bit gap if you want. And now I'm thinking about, oh, I'm gonna now make sure this one is a little bit more fresh red color. Now I'm gonna have that a little red color there and just take a little bit red and have some nice transition. See that? I'm gonna have a little line over here showing the separation of the two petal. Okay, like that. I'm gonna keep the little light gap in between, like that. Right, that's good. Now it's the first round and put a little color into the petal. Now I'm gonna put some color also on the table over here for this petal, like that. Okay, on the other side, I'm gonna add a little red, a little bit darker color over there, right there, like that. And the bottom, I have a little bit color. Now we have the petal, nicely, right? And now, this time, I also going to add the shape of Catch the Shadow. It sh need to be similar to that color, right? Now I'm gonna mix this, all this color together and add a little bit more yellow to it. And this very much a little bit red, make a little bit more neutral. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna just go to put this color right there. I'm changing the composition. So I'm gonna use the side of the brush like that. So you can, this brush can cover a lots of, lots of space, quite a bit of space is that's good. And also the bottom over here, I'm going to welcome the red color integrated into the Catch the Shadow because it should have a little red color there too. Right? I'm going to connect that together like that. There's two Catch the Shadow. Okay, now we're going to come back to do some adjusting. Uh, first, I'm going to add some color into the picture first. Like over here, I want this side, this 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 side, the re, re, the reflection color on this side a little bit less than the other one. So I'm gonna have a little bit gray colors. I'm gonna just put a little gray color over there, and that would make it dim down a little bit. Maybe should be a little bit brown orange color. So I'm gonna make this size a little bit less, right? Let's take it like that, a little bit darker. So separate both sides. Okay like this and on the top over here I can just draw a little color to separate that from the uh, background window as well I can add a little big blue color just make a little bit blue a little bit gray yeah if blue with the brown would like a gray color so if you see a little gray Mix that color into it and it will look. This is good. I'm gonna have a little bit gray then, a little bit more. I'm gonna give a little bit over here. But since I have the invented the petal over here, I should also have a little red color here. Okay, like that. Because that color should be reflected onto the um, side of the vase. Okay, so that's good. Uh, maybe a little bit darker color. I'm gonna add a little bit darker color. So I'm gonna take the red mix with the green and add a little bit yellow and you get this pretty dark color. Maybe a little bit more red. Now take a look. I'm gonna have this color a little bit darker like coming down over here. That's good. I'm gonna have a little bit detail over here as well like that. That's good. All right. So now the bottom of that we're gonna have a little bit gray color. 
and the bottom over here need to be a little bit darker. Now I'm gonna have that and this side. Okay, that's good. Now I have the color a little bit deeper. Now also under the flower should also have a little red color. So I to add that color to that. This is good, right? Now the next thing I'm we're going to do, we're gonna make sure on this side need to a little bit deeper. So this is all creative adjustment and it's very important. Now I'm gonna get a little blue color mix in here and that's too much blue, right? So I'm gonna get a little red color into here to make it a little bit neutral. Okay, that probably good, a little bit more red. Okay, that should be good enough. So every time you ask yourself, is that the color I like? Or find out what other color you want to change it because to only use the three primary colors. You can figure, figure things out. Maybe a little bit more yellow, a little bit more brownish color. That's probably fine. And now I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to have this color actually connected a little bit into the this side of the base. Now I'm going to have this a little bit darker like that. And now I'm going to use a little bit of water. Now have that color extended. Now here you go into, so feel a little bit more balance now. It's not looking like uh, both sides look like the same. Okay, now I'm going to come up over here. I'm going to have this color, maybe have a little bit of red color on the top. Why? Because the flower affecting the color on the window sill. Okay, now I'm going to have a little bit red color. Now I'm going to have that little color over here. How about that? Have a little color like that. Use the large brush really help you to get the color uh, connected. Uh, quickly okay and that's just good now I have the color more connected over here on this side now it look a little bit more uh, better balanced but I'm gonna have this color also connecting to the outside over here so it still look like there is something connected from this side extended into this side I'm gonna have this color and just softly Blend it with the water like that. Oh, now you're gonna look at it. Is that really too much? If that, I think this is a little bit too uh, gradients. Uh, how am I gonna do that? I'm gonna just gonna put the water over here. I'm gonna let the water create the texture, and that the texture, it is uh, beautiful elements in our painting. Okay, I'm gonna make this a little bit softer. So we're gonna see how this is gonna come out. Maybe push that a little bit more on this side, just to create the texture. Okay, now this is good, right? And the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start adding some uh, leaves. I'm gonna take this color, I'm gonna put another leaf over here. Okay, and then take a look at uh, some leaves over there. I'm gonna add a little bit yellow, and there's a little green color. Now here you go. I'm gonna put a little leaf, little uh, stamp over here, and coming down. That's good. And also the bottom of that flower and have a little bit yellowish color. So I'm gonna just take the yellow and the bottom right over here. That's good. Have the yellow green color, just put it over there like that. This is good. Also on this one, I'm gonna have a little bit green color at uh, the bottom as well. Like that. All right, now we're gonna ready to put some color even a little bit darker. So I'm gonna separate uh, some color from the whole big group. Now I'm gonna pick this color. This color really dark. Take a look. I'm gonna have this. Ooh, come over here and painting around that a little lighter petal. Okay, here you go. I'm gonna put some color over here as well, like that. Okay, like this. Now I have some. Thing going on over there. I'm gonna have a little bit green 
the blue green color and when I have a little leaf over here just painting like this you see that from the outside gradually moving in so that is a nice piece and I'm gonna have a little bit separation like this a little bit darker like that here you go now on the edge over there I'm gonna have a little bit like that that looks good now I'm gonna come into um, do a little adjusting before we go away from that I'm gonna just do a little bit touching at the bottom over here so you see that this the base in the top it has some has a little light uh, gap okay that's good like that that have a nice suggestions for the top now we're gonna come to take care of some texture. Like I say, you see that that's is beautiful. Might be a little bit too much. So I'm gonna just use the water, right? Soften that a little bit. That's good enough, right? We wanna keep some texture over there. Okay, this is good. Um, and let's take a look over here. I think this can be a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna just use this clickety brush, lift up a little color and just make it a little lighter, okay? Like that that looks good look at the the color so vibrant right and on the top over here I'm gonna also lift up a little color make it a little bit lighter okay here you go now lift up a little bit like that that looks good okay now take a look at the bottom over here the corner I need to make that a little bit lighter so also use uh, maybe use the one Inch flat brush and they can lift up the color faster. Okay, let's see. Just use the corner of this brush. Here you go. Now it's soften already. So that corner is not standing out too much. At the same time, I'm also going to do a little lifting, make this side a little bit lighter for the reflection. Okay, like that. We can do some adjusting color. I'm gonna make this a little bit softer. Right, that's good. Okay. Now on this side, I'm gonna also have a little bit light reflection. So this are very easy to retouch it and change it. And now we're gonna come back to give a little bit deeper color. I get a little red and the top over here. Just a little bit deeper color. You think about darker. Just go for some darker color and then you can make see that what color you want to change it to. Okay, over here. I'm gonna make that a little bit deeper. I'm gonna get a couple line over here. A little bit darker. I'm gonna have a little color over there. Much better. And at the bottom, I'm gonna add a little bit color over there. Like that. It's a little wet, but that's okay. Now gradually the painting is come together and like oh there is a main object there is, is the main areas and there is some uh, supporting elements and compose a nice painting I'm gonna on this side I'm gonna have a little bit uh, sharper okay now over here I'm gonna have it coming down a little bit and remember what we talk about we want to have Lift the one side a little bit stronger, the other side a little bit uh, less. So now that's good. Now the color going outside is easily just lift it up. That's as good. All right. Um, now the paintings gradually form uh, together. I think this is, looks good by having something going on over here but this texture may be a little bit too much and also a little bit too great so i'm gonna have a little bit um kind of light brown color and put it on top of that and to see if this color uh better take a look at that this color actually will be okay i'm gonna add a little blue color over here try to do some experiment to see if that work a little bit better and then after everything dry, we're gonna come back to do the final uh, balance, final retouching, okay? And then the painting will be finished, okay? Like that. Okay, have that color coming out over there, okay? And 
the flower in the bottom over here, just going to put a little blue and the red color mixed together. I want to make that even a little bit darker. I'm going to have a little line coming over here. And this simple a little line like that. A little bit darker color on the top. A little dark color in the bottom. Like that. A little bit over there. And on the side over here, uh, I'm going to remove this light color a little bit too strong because we want to have this group become secondary. That one have a little bit stronger. So we're going to make this petal a little bit deeper by overlay a little color to it. And there's a little leaf, a little bit darker like that. This need to be a little bit stronger like that. And maybe a little bit yellow putting in here to make it a little bit more green. Right. And also we can add a little small shadow a little line next to here. Now that's good.